We want to take you now to Tullahoma in Coffee County. Yeah, News Force Cameron Taylor has been out there all night. Cameron, you're seeing some pretty significant damage where you are. Yeah, we're in front of Dameron's restaurant. This is a staple here in Tullahoma, and I want to show you the damage this storm did to the roof. It ripped it off, and that is just part of it right there. You see people working on it right now, trying to get it down from the power lines. That's been a big issue this evening here in Tullahoma. Trees down, power lines down. We've seen firefighters and utility crews going from area to area, working very quickly to get power back on because it is dark in parts of the city. Others have power tonight, but that part of the roof that you're seeing right there, that is not the only place that it uh, ripped off from the restaurant. It's actually across the street too. If you want to take us out here live again, showing it across the street. This is an even bigger part of the roof that was ripped off because of this storm. And the owner, we spoke with him tonight. He says the restaurant inside is flooded because of this storm. And he says this isn't the first time the restaurant has been damaged. It kind of brings back memories because back in 2011, we lost our original restaurant to fire total loss on it, so it's kind of reliving that nightmare again. So, you know, it's not a good feeling. Now the owner hopes to reopen in a few days, but he's very grateful for neighbors, friends, family helping out with all of this damage that his restaurant has experienced from this storm. But, you know, we were speaking with city officials and they tell us tonight that People are experiencing this storm in many ways. Some homes had trees on them. We saw a car by a church that had a tree on it. And all of this, it doesn't appear that anyone was hurt this evening. So that is the good news. But a lot of cleanup to be done, especially when daylight hours hit. Back to you, Tom and Tracy. All right.